you. What is going on guys? My name is David and today I'm going to be reviewing Lego Ninjago episode 61, Wishmasters. So without further ado, let's get on to today's episode. So the episode actually starts off with Dareth and the ninja at their little movie action studio where they're going to be discussing a plan on how to take down Nauticon. And particularly, the plan is to use the Tiger Widow Venom that they collected on the Tiger Widow Island to slow down Nauticon enough so that they can capture him in a Gin Blade or the Teapot of Tyran. But I'm pretty sure the Teapot of Tyran was destroyed, so uh, I think they're going with the Gin Blade approach. Um, so yeah, so uh, basically, uh, Dareth calls in Dan and Kevin Hageman, and they're basically discussing the plan that they're going to take. So if you guys can see, one of them actually has the bottle, and um, the bottle that Jay uh, wrote his little secret message in. And so he dropped it into the ocean, hoping that the ninja would find it. Well, Ronan found it and gave it to the ninja, and so basically, Jay wrote this little letter of his on the back of a blueprint for the command raid zeppelin. So basically, what the plan is, is that they're going to reconstruct this zeppelin, and then they're going to teach Lloyd, Cole, and uh, Nia how to be act like pirates, how to dress like pirates and all that stuff so that they can blend in with uh, Nauticon's crew and then after that they can breach the ship to poison Nauticon and then capture him and as well uh, free Jay. So, I mean, you know, everybody's criticizing how bad of a plan that is but then there is just like, you know, we have no other plan if anybody has any other plans, you know, speak up right now or forever hold your peace. Nobody says anything. He's like, alright, now let's get to work. So, um, there are a couple, like, little funny scenes where they're actually getting the supplies and the materials to actually build the actual Zeppelin. But I just skipped them all, and I showed you guys just this one scene right here, uh, where they're constructing it. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, then it switches to the scene of where I believe, uh, the tour guide actually starts, you know, showing and touring around the Yang's Haunted Temple area, only to find out that it is actually gone and missing. And then we actually do see that it is floating up way up high in the air going to Nauticon's magical Jinjago. And uh, so yeah, this is actually how Jinjago looks now. I have to say it looks probably really cool. Um, I honestly wish that they introduced this world to us a little bit earlier because it just looks really awesome. The concept, I love it. You know how there's like these little islands and then you have like these little uh, buildings and like ecosystems on each of them. And it's actually just like really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, Nauticon is, you know, checking out the progress of his Jinjago. And then we have Yang coming out of its temple. But then Nauticon tells uh, Dog Shank to clean the temple and she uses water to do so. And so Yang's just like, ah, get out, you know, and all that stuff. So he tells all of his pupils to uh, get out of the temple. And uh, so yeah, because water can obviously dissolve a ghost. And uh, so after that, we do see that Bucko and Skiffy are not actually pirates yet, but they would like to be pirates. So uh, Nauticon officially gives them pirate names, Skiffy, uh, the guy with the black hair, and then Bucko, the guy with the orange uh, ginger hair. And so basically, you know, everybody's happy, and uh, Nauticon's just like, get these two imbeciles out of my way, um, I have a world building to focus on. So then Nauticon is basically talking to himself, uh, while Dog Shank is cleaning the Yang's temple. And he's basically saying that, like, you know, he needs this land to be complete so that he can marry Nia and then have infinite wishes. And so then the scene changes back to the ninja who are on board the raid zeppelin that they have uh, constructed. And they are indeed approaching uh, Nauticon's flagship, the Misfortune's Keep. I have, to, I have to say, I mean, like, the flagship itself in the TV show looks really, really cool. And I just love scenes like this where they have like these little ships flying in and all that stuff. Kind of reminds me a bit of Star Wars. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And so yeah, basically Nia flies up to the Misfortune's Keep and she drops off Cole, who then sneaks on board the Misfortune's Keep and is going to basically poison Nauticon with the Tiger Widow po uh, poison. And then he's also going to free Jay. So he breaches um, <coughs> Nauticon's quarters and then after that he actually finds Jay in there. Uh, tied in chains. So then uh, basically Cole decides to help him out and all that stuff and then Nauticon breaches into the room and so Cole indeed hides behind his bed 
and he shoves Jay into his closet, which is maybe not the greatest of ideas. Uh, but then Nanakan, you know, uh, oh, and by the way, on the table, uh, Cole is about to poison uh, Nanakan, but then he found Jay. And so he left the Tiger Widow poison on the table. Uh, that is something to keep in mind. And so then uh, Nanakan is looking, you know, at all of his teapots and stuff, and uh, he doesn't notice the poison, and uh, he was just telling uh, Flintlock to uh, basically refill his little teapot or golden whatever that is. And uh, then Nanakan is going into the closet where Jay is, but then all of a sudden something happens. I forget what that was. Oh, yeah, uh, so uh, the ball and chain rolls down the uh, floor, and then Nanakan tells Flintlock, you know, oh, our prisoner has escaped, you know, go find him. And uh, his attack, uh, his attraction to this closet uh, is lost, and so he doesn't check it out, which is uh, very fortunate for Jay. Uh, but then the scene changes back to Lloyd and Nia, where they're chilling out um, and hiding to make sure that nobody will question them. And then uh, Clancy stumbles upon them, and he's basically asking them, you know, why aren't they doing anything? And he's calling them newbies and all that stuff. And uh, so, yeah, he's telling them about, like, the social ladder that there is in the Pirate Kingdom and how Nodicon's at the top and Clancy's, like, somewhere in the middle and then they're at the bottom, so if they want to rise and they gotta do work. And so, uh, it was a pretty little conversation, I guess you can say. Uh, nothing really too much to get from that, but then eventually Clancy leaves and uh, the ninja continue on their quest to get Jay and Cole out of the ship. So yeah, uh, Cole and Jay escape Nauticon's quarters, and they go towards the edge of the, uh, I guess you can say the docking bay of the Misfortunes Keep, and uh, that is where they decide to jump off and escape, even though they don't have the Tiger Widow Venom. And so they, uh, Cole says, you know, hey, I spot Nia and, uh, you know, Lloyd, let's go jump off and let's get uh, us, uh, ourselves out of here. So they do exactly that. They use Air Jitsu to jump onto the Raid Zeppelin. Except, it's not their aid zeppelin. Um, believe it or not, Lloyd and Nia are actually captured by Nauticon. And Jay and Cole just got themselves into a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> so yeah, after that, um, basically, as you guys can see, Nauticon has indeed captured Nia and Lloyd. And then, Cole is thrown into the uh, little prison area along with Lloyd and Jay. While Nauticon tries to woo Nia so that she can of course marry him and so all these uh, chains are actually made out of venge stone so that they can't use their elemental powers and Cole can't use his ghostly powers to escape them and so then we have Nia who is at her royal banquet and yeah she's basically talking to Nauticon because he really 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 wants to uh, her to marry him so that he can have his infinite wishes so they're basically talking about um, you know, a deal, and, you know, Nanakan says, I will free your friends if you agree to marry me, and then Nia says, you know, free them first, and then maybe I'll think about it. So, of course, this kind of angers Nanakan a bit, and, uh, he basically decides to do this. <laughs> the plank. <laughs> uh, obviously, you guys know that there is no pirate out there who does not have a plank on his ship, and that is exactly what Nauticon decides to do. So he basically tells Nia, agree to marry me now or else the ninja or your friends will be on the plank and they'll fall off. So um, this obviously puts Nia at a lot, a lot of pressure. And Nia is thinking about wishing, but Jay's just like, no, don't wish. And uh, Jay's just like, nobody wish anything. This is what's going to happen. Nia is going to save us probably later um, or something like that. But basically, Cole walks the plank first. And then all of a sudden, Cole makes a wish. Yes, that is right. Cole makes a, makes a wish. And uh, he actually tells Nauticon uh, that the Venge Stone, I mean, he wishes for the Venge Stone to not trap them, but actually make their powers stronger. And so it does exactly that. And then the ninja basically fight off the pirates in the little docking bay area. And then the Flintlock comes in. He's like, I'm not afraid to shoot you. And then I believe Cole wishes for Flintlock to be a lousy shot. And Flintlock is like, I never miss. But he actually misses them. And he misses everybody. <laughs> but then Nauticon decides to use the uh, Soul of Swords um, to use Zane's power and freeze the entire thing so that everybody would stop fighting. And then after that, I believe... Uh, Lloyd wishes to become wise, like Sensei Wu, and Cole wishes 
for everybody to get off the ship. And so when Cole wishes that, of course, everybody is actually going to fall off the ship. And so everybody's holding on for their dear lives at the edge of the misfortunes keep trying to stay on. And so while that's happening, everybody's like falling down. And Jay actually did catch the uh, Tiger Widow Venom while it was falling off the ship. So it's all good. We still have the Venom. And uh, then Lloyd notices something in the ice reflection. He's actually becoming older. So when he said he wanted to become wise like Sensei Wu, he is becoming wise, but he's also aging like Sensei Wu has. And so Lloyd's getting pretty uh, nervous at this point. And then we do have Jay, who does have the Tiger Widow Venom in his hand. And so, um, after this, uh, they basically fall off, and then I believe it was either Jay or, uh, Nier or Cole who wished for, uh, the clouds to stop their fall. I believe it was Cole. And so, uh, basically the clouds become like these little bouncy pads, and so they all just land on them, and no harm was actually done. And then all of a sudden, everybody starts fighting each other, Sky Pirates against Ninja, and then Lloyd is basically really old, and he just can't fight anymore. And uh, for that reason, everybody stops fighting, and the ninja are basically just cornered, and I believe they only have one or two wishes left. And so then Nadakan is just chilling out, and he's like, you know, you gave up, uh, you might as well wish it all to go away so that I can capture you guys, and yeah, that's going to be all good. Um, but then uh, Lloyd wishes, he makes his final wish, and he wishes for a sword. And so Lloyd basically uses this sword to deflate the clouds so that Nia and Jay can fall off, and once they do this, like, a bunch of epic music starts coming in, and this was just such an epic moment. I really do love this moment in the actual uh, television series. And so they're basically falling down. Uh, we all go down together, we go down. Ah. So yeah, basically after that, uh, they do fall down, and they actually form both of their elemental powers to create a water slash electric dragon. That is right, guys. This is a actual dragon mashup and I have to say it looks very very awesome this dragon looks fantastic I love it a lot and uh yeah so basically Nia and Jay are just on this dragon flying away and then Lloyd is just like they will both save us and it's time we give ourselves up so then Nadakan realizes that both of them don't have any wishes and they can't give themselves up because they can't wish it all to go away and so, because of this, Nadakan persuades Clancy, who has not ever made a wish for him, and he basically tells Clancy, you know, you're going to wish it all away, and Clancy does exactly that, and Cole and Lloyd are basically taken into the Sword of Souls. And so, as you guys can see, Lloyd's soul is indeed going into the actual blade, and then Nadakan is getting off the little clouds back to his uh, home ship, and then he tells Flintlock, no, you're not coming with us unless you bring back the girl, and she must be unharmed. And so then Flintlock is pretty angry at this point, and he gets into his Sky Shark, and he's flying after the dragon, and he's like, you know, oh, it's a pirate's promise, Nauticon, unharmed. And he's actually, like, shooting a lot of missiles at them, hoping that, you know, something will happen and they will be damaged or something like that. Uh, so this was actually a pretty cool little chase-slash-flight scene uh, in this little... Uh, episode and so as you guys can see it's kind of blurry but you can see like all these little missiles that are flying around and uh, then Flintlock is flying towards the Tiger Widow Island and then he notices the police blockade uh, if you guys can see it on the shore over there and they start firing a lot of missiles and Flintlock like loses his concentration and all that stuff but he does eventually fly away he does not get killed in this battle and then Nia and Jay fly onto the Tiger Widow Island and they meet the police, and yeah, that's basically the end of the episode. So it was a pretty intense little episode. I did enjoy it, and uh, yeah, hopefully tonight's episode will be as good as this one. So overall, I have to say it was a very entertaining episode. I did like it, um, and yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. If you guys did, then please leave a like down in the like rating below. And uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe for the latest LEGO Ninjago news, updates, and more. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in my next LEGO Ninjago video. Coming to you guys very, very soon. Thank you all for watching.